All right, welcome back to the Beer, Bacon, and Bros. We're going to do our typical beer review for this episode. As always, I'm Alex. We've got Adam, got Chris, we got Keith. Uh, before we jump into this fine beer from Edmund Oats, we're going to ask you to just politely go over and like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Let us know. Uh, comment if you've had this beer, uh, what you think of it, what you would give it a little score of. Um, and then comment any other beers that you want us to try. We'll try to reach out and grab that beer. Uh, but everything's free to you. It helps us grow. We're just trying to get the family a little bit bigger. So make sure you just interact with us a little bit. That's all we're asking. But anyways, we're going to jump right into this beer. This is the Strawberry Shortcake from Edmund Oates Brewing Company down in Charleston. It is yep. Charleston. Yeah, yeah, Charleston. I didn't know if it was like going to be like West Ashley or something. No, that's corner. Or like, yeah. <laughs> like, bitch, that's Charleston. <laughs> I think it's technically North Charleston now, right? Because they, didn't they close the one downtown, the peninsula? Uh, yeah, it already yeah, smells yeah, fantastic. I think it's like uh, before you get into the city. But yeah. it's a uh, yeah. it's a blonde ale brewed with lactose with strawberry and vanilla added. It's, you know how I feel about the lactose in beer. Yes, we do. I was but it smells that. fantastic. I've been noticing it's a lot of lactose in a lot of their beers. Yeah, they, they use lactose. They've got the cereal. They've got yeah. something cold. They, like a lot of them. They, they use a lot of lactose. I was really hoping. I feel like the guy that found it, Edmund Oates, just gets like a hard on for breakfast food. Breakfast and dessert. It's a lot of sweet. <laughs> it's a lot of sweet flavors coming out of Edmund Oates. Well, it's wow, that does smell fantastic. I really, I have high hopes for this. I do too. They usually do really good though. Oh, that does smell really good. You definitely smell the strawberry. Hmm. Okay. Damn. I get the strawberry shortcake. <laughs> oh, Lord. I get the strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Did not like Did it over like, here. Yeah. Did you like he it? had to force that down, <laughs> baby. Um. What's in strawberry shortcakes that make them like it's so strawberries short and it's shortcake? Yeah, but and what's in cream? What's in shortcake that makes it so it's like short and moist? Cheap. Yeah, it's, it's spongy. spongy. That's what it is. It's just uh, it's just the way it's prepared. Like yeah. it all, all it's like it's a mixture of like the water to oil ratio and then egg. It's like sometimes it can be like the egg yolk versus egg white ratio and just like different ingredients in it. There's I really don't know too much about it, but it's just. Like I've I've had some good strawberry shortcakes before. My like my dad's mom, yeah. my grandma. But when it's like that really moist, spongy, yes. and like fluffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I'm gonna say this reminded me of maybe not like a homemade strawberry shortcake, but like the sponge cakes you buy at the store. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're not looking for I too told, much I out of totally it, but it's there. But I think this this was like you, you took one of those, you cut up some fresh strawberries, tossed a little sugar on there, topped it with whipped cream. Yeah. Blended it all up, threw it in a beer. Yeah. Oh yeah. This was wonderful. I did. I was really, really pleased with this. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was a little couldn't more tell, we, we couldn't tell. <laughs> Strawberry strawberries also one of those weird fruits. Like it takes a lot of strawberry it to does. get a strong flavor. Yeah. It's but a very it, light fruit. But it, it comes through in this though. It, it does. does. It, 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 it comes there. through because I know like in the last summer when we tried to find strawberry beer or watermelon beer even. Yeah. We couldn't find anything that would actually give us the flavor. That we uh, it's like when we did the um the new grass when we did their peanut butter jelly beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The strawberry out of all of them was like, all right, I'm getting them the peanut butter. Yeah. Right. Like you got the the white grape and the, the normal grape. Like you got the mixture of right. the two, but the strawberry was a little bit lacking. But I, I just I it's a very subtle flavor. I tossed that up to just strawberry itself being a very subtle and right. sweet right. flavor, right. Yeah. light. It's light a light flavor. fruit flavor, but yeah. so is watermelon. Like it's yeah, it yeah. takes a, it takes it took a, a lot, lot for us to find a good watermelon beer. It's the yeah. same way. I think we only found like one that we actually enjoyed. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, All right, uh, Mr. Chugger, do you want to give us the score? Well, I was really pleased with this. <laughs> eight eight. Okay. Yeah. I am very very pleased with that. I'm gonna go eight seven. I do like it. It's you get what you're saying. I would say it's a little bit weaker, but also it might be one of those good things to where it's not overly sweet. Where you, can, you can drink. I can drink multiple. Of you those. could get a six pack of these and like be okay with taking down more than one, just one. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's not one of those sweet beers where you drink one and you're like, all right, where's the Pepto? Where's the Zan right. the, uh, Zantac or whatever for heartburn? <laughs> like, There's enough sweetness yeah. in it to where you get the sweetness, but it's not over the top sweet where you can't drink yeah. more than one. I also don't feel like there was that much lactose in it. Like, I didn't, didn't get much like that. It was like I got a little bit of the bottom of the can. I think yeah. I think I think the little bit yeah. that I got was it helped add to the sponge cake flavor. It yeah, more, that, that whipped cream. It added yeah. to the sponge. Yeah, the sponge right. cake and the whipped cream. It wasn't. It wasn't the typical lactose that I get where I complain about like it just it doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was definitely more lactose at the bottom of the can, but that's just because where it was where it settles, obviously. Yeah. Um so I mean on my 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 part of the beer, I definitely got more of that lactose feel where you got that creaminess from the like the whipped cream aspect of it. 
Um, I'm, I'm also going to need something on that with, with Alex. So I think um, so, so that we don't get any more beers like stuff being at the bottom, we should go get one of those like Home Depot paint mixers that shake. Yeah, it just up. shake the hell out of it. And we get one of those before we open our beer. Yeah. And we, agitate we, it. Yeah, we just run it. We run it through there one time. Yeah, it's so just you, rotating yeah. while we're doing our warm ups. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, this definitely, I mean, hits on every single point that it says it is. I mean, I would definitely go seek that out again. Yeah. I thought it was good. I think the only thing that I wish was I wish there was more strawberry flavor to it. Like, I, I feel like I yeah. can get the. Like Adam said, not homemade sponge cake, but the like store bought sponge cake. You could taste the whipped cream. It, the strawberries were there. I just wish there was a little bit more strawberry forward mm -hmm. to it. And maybe it's just me when I eat strawberry shortcake, it's overpowered with a butt ton of strawberries. And well, and, and like, like like Alex also said too, it, when when you're combining it with the beer and they have those other flavors, it does kind of get meld out a little oh, bit because because strawberry is such a subtle flavor. Yeah. But I mean, I, I do agree. I feel if this had more strawberry to it, it definitely would be a higher on the scale. Oh, it would yeah. be. I, I, like, I, I'd I think it would be. Nines. I think it would be in the nines. Yeah. Rest so, yeah. so I mean, um, but I mean, there's 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 enough strawberry there that it make at least you know that it's there and you can at least taste it and know that know that's what you're drinking. Yeah, I would love to get this on tap at Edmonds. Like I I kind of we we haven't done what we needed to with probably going to Charleston and doing some brew hopping one weekend, but. Um, Edmonds is definitely a must stop for us the next time we're in there. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's been a while since we kind of said this, but on a lot of our older videos, you can hear us talk about this. Is I wonder what that's like coming out the tap. Yeah, yeah. like they're in in their tap room right there, like twenty feet from where they made yeah, it, fresh out the keg. Yeah, yeah. like Go, going that, through CO two and all that. Yeah. yeah, it might it might have a lot of the stronger flavors because I mean. It's like that can't, one, yeah, it's like that one company we don't. It's like that one company we don't talk about where none also, of their beers also in Charleston. None of their beers <laughs> taste like they're supposed to. They're we're like, like we better, should go, we should go at least try it on tap, and then we yeah. haven't done it. Their beers yeah, they're actually on tap. they're actually very close to each other too, so that would work out well. So uh, eight one for me on this though. I think fantastic beer would drink it again. Um, you know, like I said, just wish there was a little more strawberries in it for me. Yeah. But, so, uh, back down the line, we got eight seven right. Eight, eight, eight over eight, here. Yep. Eight starting over here. Yeah. Eight seven over there. Eight starting over here. I'm just... 8, 7, 8, 1, 8, 7, 8, 8 on the uh, strawberry shortcake ale from Edmonds Oast in Charleston, South Carolina. And that's a review.